I'd like to introduce you to Tagzido, which is a website that allows you to create word clouds. And word clouds are ways of turning text into, uh, in, into, a, into a graphic. And the more often a word appears within the text, the bigger it appears within the word cloud. So I'm just going to demonstrate by opening up a document here. Um, I'm just going to copy all this text. And so I'm just going to, I've selected it, I'm going to right click copy and now I'm going to go back to this site here to Tagzido. Uh, so here, here's the web address tagzido.com. Now once I've gone to the website, I'm just going to click on create here. And here we go. So here's an example of somebody else's word cloud that's appearing as a rose. Um, I'm now going to load my own text, so I'm just going to click on load here and load, here we go, load and I'm just going to control V to paste all that text from the Word document into, um, into Taxido. So I'm just going to click submit and once I've done that I will see that all the text that I've pasted in, uh, it's taken out the key words that you can hear. You can you can see development, professional, manager, learning, etc. Now, that shape is not my favorite shape. I can change the shapes by going to option shape. Now, I do have a favorite shape, which is this word bubble here. And I like that because it all seems to fit on the page um, that the words are more readable and I also have a favorite theme but you can select from any of these themes but this one is is my particular favorite and you can see that if you roll over the words they actually become bigger as well okay so you can see that the the word that appears the most here is the word development followed by professional uh, then probably by college. Okay, so I've got my word cloud. I'm happy with that. Uh, but what I can also do is if if I don't like those colors, I can just click on this color um, but, uh, button here and it will give me variations of those colors. So I think I'm going to stick with this one here. And now I want to save that to my computer so that I can use it within Word or within Moodle. So to do that, I'm just going to go here to Save Share Print. And for this particular example, I'm going to select a JPEG and I'm going to say that it should be 500 kilobytes. So that would be almost but not quite full screen. So I'm just going to click on that. I'm going to give it a name and I'm going to call it CPD text and I'm just going to save that to my desktop. I'll just click no thanks and now what happens is that when I go to my desktop I can see my image, I can double click it and, and there it is. So that is how easy it is to make a word, a word cloud. And um, the website that I've used is called tagsedo.com.